Hi, one best PR videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our coverage of the 2015 NBA playoffs right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, who uh, is coming off a loss with us, which drops him to 22 9 and 1 against the spread overall in the NBA playoffs with us. Awesome record. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, the game, too, did not go as planned. Obviously, a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on. You know, you get LeBron James, who really dictated that entire game and, and who could have predicted the shooting performance by Steph Curry but hey it happens we bounce back and hopefully we uh, we land game three and we still got the big series play with Golden State as well which obviously looks a little bit in, a little bit in jeopardy but I think we're going to be okay and I actually do think we had a really really strong game three play for everybody okay well here we go game three right uh, right now Cleveland is a one point home underdog and I think that line has moved a bit I think I saw Cleveland minus one Last night, now Golden State is minus one, so some money has come in on Golden State. My sense is that that is the, uh, the right direction. The total is interesting, 194, and we have seen in the NBA playoffs that the market just doesn't adjust totals that quickly uh, in the NBA uh, uh, playoffs, but these totals are crashing, right? Game one was like 203, 204. Game two was 199. Now we're seeing 194, so that's a major, major adjustment. I'm not exactly sure what I think about that one. My sense is here, game three, I think the lean is Golden State minus one. What's your take in game three, Troy? Yeah, you know, if you're looking at both the, the movement in the line and also in the total, it's, it's a really interesting movement, as you said. Uh, my, my official pick is going on Golden State. Mm -hmm. I, I think this Golden State team is too good. I think they honestly took for granted the fact that Kyrie Irving was going to be missing. I think they thought it would be a walk in the park. Next thing you know, your, your MVP shoots two of 15 from three and, and just was horrible from the floor. And even with all that, Pete, they had a legitimate shot at still winning the game, not necessarily a legitimate shot at covering, but winning the game. And, and many of the, the athletes that I've spoken to, Pete, not professional, but just at a, even at a collegiate level, when you go on the road, you really start to focus more. And I think Golden State's obviously proven its track record on the road throughout the playoffs, even against quality opponents. I think their focus, I think their demeanor is going to change dramatically going into Cleveland. I know this is a tough place to play, but I think out of pick them, you know, the minus one, close enough to a pick them. Golden State is the deeper team. you got to remember, Pete, LeBron James played 50 minutes, played back-to-back -back overtime games. He only gets one day's rest this time. The guy's been carrying him. Not saying he's going to falter, not saying he's going to have a bad game, but at some point fatigue does have to set in. Like I said, I think Golden State's the deeper team. I like him to get it done in this one, Pete. I have to say, I'm agreeing with you on this one, uh, Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. The only X factor is the refs. You know, they're going to want to give LeBron James at least one win at home in this series. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried that it could be game three, but uh, I think you're right. Maybe Golden State wins game four, and then later on in the series is when, you know, the commissioner makes the call down and says give Cleveland a game at home. Uh, and the total, you don't have any uh, opinion on the total, really? The total is extremely interesting, Pete. I, I, I can see why it was adjusted so much. Cleveland has really changed their game plan, and they are really grinding down this clock. If you look at what they did yeah. almost the entire second half, they give the ball to LeBron James, and, and you know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to run the clock down to one or two. He's going to get his best shot up if he misses. And Tristan Thompson has been outstanding on the offensive glass. They do it all over again. They've really slowed the tempo down question becomes, can they slow it down in every one of these games? If yeah. Golden State gets it going up a notch and they're able to get into that quick, fast break game, then, then the total is definitely going to be an over. But right, right now, they, you know, Vegas is saying, hey, we got to adjust this big time because of the way Cleveland's been able to dictate the pace of the game, which is slow, slow, and slower. Right. You know, boy, I don't have an official pick or a lean on that. It's a tough one to go. That's a low total for two teams that are very capable of scoring. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, 22-9-1 against the spread in the NBA playoffs with us so far this year for free in our videos. Like in Golden State, currently minus one in game three. And I will say I'm agreeing with you, Troy West. I'm not going to bet the house on it, but I think I'm going to make a, uh, an average-sized play on it. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, thanks so much. Talk to you again for game four.